Why did you employ such a dumb as a cook? Sebastian? Yes. Sebastian is a good cook. Plus he's a nice person. There are so many good cooks out there that can cook and still speak good English. I know, but we're used to Sebastian. Whatever. Please tell him to make me rice. I don't understand what he was speaking. Okay. Sebastian! 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 Sebastian, please prepare rice for Audrey. Now, Raj, you come kitchen to come tell me make I prepare for you. Hi! Oh! Now you come to tell me what, 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 what? I beg, try to talk with him person fit understand now. Sebastian, mm. please prepare rice for her. Okay. Sweetheart, mm. do you want your love? Rice and stew or fried rice? Mm, give me jollof. Sebastian, jollof rice. Uh, audio. Sorry, my name is not audio. My name is Audrey. Audrey. Okay, I beg. Try to speak with him person, fit understand. Yeah. hear? The energy we are used to come up from kitchen to come here. I for just use and prepare rice for you. Eh? Not the speak what, 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 what. I know they understand. They talk with him person, feel it. Mom. Maybe, what, 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 small picking. Would speak what, 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 what? Madam, you know normal. Sebastian. Even if person wake me up for dream, eh? Tell me say that um um madam um time ta 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 Oh, guys, I'm sorry. I just want to let you know, see, I, I, I did surprise. Me, Sev, it's in the thing they pay, pay me for body. Eh? Yeah, the, the, the way that, that girl, they, they carry body, I know they understand. She go do like this, she go snap. She go do like this, she go snap. She go stand up, do like this, she snap. She do like this, she snap. She want shit. She ah, ah, what's in? <laughs> Saba. You know, see, um, if I did talk now, <laughs> I go to say I'm the ordinary get man. You don't know, say get man na GM. GM. Now he make I always talk every time. Say, you see this life? You see this life where we did? You know balance. You, At all. You know get sense. That GM where you be, now you go day until you die. One of the tell you say make you come make a tissue things where you go use. They do the game money like me. Be rich man like me. <laughs> Your rich is not before inside kitchen. Eh? The only day you, you get power. If you talk again, you know go chop again for this house. You, you know they fear me. Man, sorry. Now that eh? girl, she leave for village, disappear. Now what you face me? See, eh, Saba? If na me be that girl, I know say I know if you be the girl, oh, but if na me be that girl, eh? <laughs> Keme room pepper the learn work. I go pepper her. You go pepper her. Pepper don't the pepper that girl already now. What thing we they wait for now? Me and personally, I just did one corner as I did like this. I they observe, I they watch, make her see the day where that pepper go just enter her eye proper. <laughs> she go, bitch me and say, pepper go enter. Saba! Mm. If the pepper enter, you are waiting, man. You know, you say, do that thing for me. Now make her. <laughs> you decrease. Those are like pepper. You they mad? I mean, that's one chop today. You never chop today. That food will chop in the morning. Now, what thing will carry you through this week? Saba, you too wicked. Come on, get up from here. Audrey, can I sit with you? 
It's your house. You don't need my permission to sit. Audrey, please take it easy with me. I am trying my best. You see, it's not my fault that things turn out this way. I was doing things that I know that are best for me. Tatiana, I don't need your explanation. <sighs> yes, you do. You do. I know I was wrong leaving you behind, Audrey. But I had no choice. My parents threatened to disown me if I didn't come back home. It was bad enough that I had to keep the pregnancy and give birth to you. It's okay. It's fine. Now that you have made me lose my appetite, hmm? you can now finish the food. And don't even forget to eat the plate and the spoon. Audrey! Audrey! This girl hates me. She hates me. This is pure organic bone straight hair. Wow, I, I wish Camille can just buy this so I'll borrow it. I'll try and convince her to buy it. Ooh, I can't find my dirty clothes where I kept them. Because I washed them for you. Who, who, who told you that you can touch my things? Audrey! Because they are dirty! So? I never asked for your help. You don't need to ask for your help. Whatever! Audrey! <gasps> oh my goodness. This girl is a pain in my ass. Let's you first have to wonder, are you sure this is the girl I gave birth to? Hello? Oh, director. Oh, please, I'm sorry. I won't be shooting with you tomorrow. No! I'm not shooting elsewhere. It's just that I have an emergency. Please, can you tell your producer to send his account number so I'll refund him? Oh, please, I'm sorry for the inconveniences. Thank you. All right, bye. Tatiana, you want to refund 600,000 naira? How? Why? Uh, because I can't leave Audrey here alone in the house. In my wildest imagination, I would never believe that Tatiana will refund money to any producer for any reason. The joy of motherhood is something that is so deep that you cannot understand. Mm. You see, the only thing on my mind right now is bonding with my daughter, Audrey. I just wish that she will accept me, even if not as a mother, but as a friend. Wow. Kids, they say, changes everything. So the almighty Tatiana, the crazy Tatiana, has been humbled by a child. Babe, not just a child, but my lovely daughter. Oh. <laughs> Don't worry. Let's share okay? With time, she will listen up. I pray so. I can't wait for that day. That she will just hug me and call me mom. That day will come soon. You need to cheer up. Let's cheers. Cheers to the day she will hug you and call your mother. <laughs> wow. I'm so happy. I love you. this hair. Hey. 
Baby. You didn't come downstairs for breakfast. Is everything okay? I'm fine. No, you're not. It's almost 8 a.m. and you've not eaten. Said I'm fine. Should I get your breakfast? No, I'm not hungry. I'm going to get it. No, 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 don't go. We are not arguing. I'm uh, getting it. Please, I'm not hungry. I'm not hungry. Come back. Uh. I think something is wrong with Audrey. What's wrong with her? Is she sick? No, 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 no. Far from that. She looks very moody this morning. Plus, she refused to eat. So, what could be wrong with her? I don't know. Maybe you go talk to her. You should talk to her, right? Yes. I'll join you soon. Come back. Good morning. How are you doing, Audrey? What is it? Pfizer said you refuse to eat breakfast. Talk to me. I'm fine. No, you are not fine. You are not fine. It's past nine. You've not taken breakfast and you said you're fine. You can talk to me, okay? I am still your mother. I said I'm fine. If I had wanted anything, I would have told Miss Camille or Miss Faiza. I don't want anything. I'm fine. I'm just fine. You are not fine. Just look at you. You've not eaten. You're in here. You. What is it? Talk to me. Look. I'm sorry. Whatever it is, please try and forgive. Forget, okay? Look, Audrey. I am your mother. Try and, try and forget everything that's happened in the past. Please. Please leave. Leave! I don't want anything. I'm not hungry. Just go. Fine. It's okay if you don't tell me what's wrong with you. Fine. I won't ask again. I will leave. But please. Try and eat so you don't hurt yourself, okay? I'll eat when I want to. me out of her room. Faiza, do you think Audrey will ever like me? Yes. No. She hates me. Audrey hates me with passion. No, no, I disagree with that. If Audrey hates you, believe me, she won't even come here. She won't even stay in the same house with you. Really? Yes. Faiza, do you know how it hurts me? Do you know how it hurts me? A daughter you gave birth to will look into your face and ask you out of her room. I understand, but give her time. She will adjust. Please. If she likes me, then why is she tormenting me? Why is she tormenting me for Christ's sake? She's breaking my heart. Fire it on. Do you know how I feel right now? Boring. Boring. Mm -hmm. I don't even like the film. Why? I don't know. 
This is season five now. It is start from season one. That's why it's boring too. Mm. So why did you put it? I'm in season five. Mm. Maybe wait when I finish. I want to change it. I don't know why. It says who? Hey, I have to start from season one. When I'm done. Obe, 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 I beg your pardon. Who are you? Begary, I'm not here to dramatize with you. Where is my daughter? Desmond, how dare you address me by that name? My name is Tatiana. <laughs> Obegari, I know you. I know your kind of lifestyle. I know you right from time. I'm not surprised. Can I have my daughter and leave? I beg your pardon. You've not addressed me well. Okay, fine and good. Tatiana, can I have my daughter now? Desmond, calm down. I should calm down? You brought my daughter to your house? Made her lie to me? What? You want me to calm down? I do not know what you're talking about. This month, I never dragged Audrey here. You brought her here yourself. Are you insane? How would I even bring my daughter close to your kind of person? Andre, you lied to me. Dad, I'm sorry. What is going on here? The driver was supposed to take me to Grandma's house, but I made Grandma book a flight for me to this place to come and see you. That she has nothing to do with me coming here. It was all I and Grandma's plan. Hey, honey, can you go upstairs? Pack your things to a living right now, okay? This month! Hey! This month! You've not changed! You've thrown me down! You've not changed! Without a mother, it's the worst experience a child could have. Every day of my life, I ask myself why you left me. I grew up hating you when I found out that you were my mother. I was partially happy, but I was angry because you achieved your dreams and you never came back for me. I'm sorry. Audrey, I'm really sorry. Please forgive me. Please. I came here when I realized how much I miss you and want you in my life. I had to be mean to you so you realize how much your absence in my life hurt me. I don't know if I've forgiven you or not, but I want you to be part of my life. I left my number and my <coughs> social media handle on the bed. Call me if you ever miss me. Because I miss you every day. I miss you more. Ah! Uh, I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Ah! It's okay. I miss you. I'll call you. I'm not being a good mother to her. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's okay, man. She left her number for me. Ha <laughs> ha